Hey guys, Trevor here. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to activate your eSIM on Mint Mobile. Now, if you're signing up for Mint Mobile or you're thinking about signing up, I'm gonna walk you through the entire steps from start to end. But first, my partner Mint Mobile gave me this link right down below. You can see it in the description and in this video. It gets you $15 per month for the first three months. So that's half off the first three months. Now, I'm gonna walk you through the steps. First, I'm on my phone here. I don't have Mint Mobile. I don't have a phone number. I don't have an eSIM yet. I'm gonna go through the entire process. So I'm gonna open up a web browser here and I'm just gonna to go to Mint Mobile. Now on here, let's say I wanted to choose an unlimited plan and I want eSIM delivery. So it asks for my brand for my phone. This is an Apple and it is an iPhone 14 Pro. If you don't know what basically model your phone number is or your phone is, you can just go into the settings in your settings app and then go to general and about and it'll show you that. Now on here, this all looks good. I'm gonna hit add to cart. And on here, I am going to enter in this promo code. They gave me a promo code. I'm just gonna copy it here. Let's see if it'll let me copy it. There we go, copy. And then I'll just paste it in. I'm gonna apply it and it should bring it down to zero. So there we go, it's zero dollars. So I'm gonna go proceed to checkout. And then from here, I'm just gonna enter in my entire contact information. So my address, my phone number, and my email address. Now on here, I can choose to auto renew, have that turned on so that after those three months, it will continue to auto renew or I can choose to turn that off. But now I'm good to go at the very bottom, I'm gonna hit place order. Essentially what this will do is it will place the order for the eSIM to be delivered to me. So usually this is an email where you'll be able to get it. Let's hit no here and you can see eSIM iPhone 14 Pro. Basically you can go down and it walks you through the process. I'm gonna see activate this plan here and it'll bring me over to the Mint Mobile app. So a lot of things can be done directly in the app. So I'll just download this app real quick. And then after I do that, I am going to open up the app. However, I need that eSIM to be able to set everything up. So while I'm doing this, you can go and check your email, but since I clicked on the link directly from that basically receipt, it shows me everything I need to know and it has that activation code. If you hop out of here and open up your email, let me go back, you can see at the very top, Mint Mobile is received. And if I go through this, I can see the activation code right there. I can tap on activate eSIM directly from this email as well if you didn't go through the step of clicking it from that website, downloading the app, all that. All right, so now we're in Mint Mobile. It says it's phone number time for your unlimited plan. I'm gonna choose to get a new one. You can choose to keep your current one and they will just transfer over or port your current phone number over to Mint Mobile, keep in mind, you do have to release that or kind of unlock it from your current carrier so that a different carrier, Mint Mobile in this case, can bring it over to them. So that's a different, a different step, an additional step that you have to take if you're bringing your current phone number over to Mint Mobile. But in my case, I'm just gonna enter in my zip code here and it's gonna just make sure you don't, yes, I'm sure. And now it's gonna ask me for my name here and my email address. I will type that in and check that box and hit activate card. Now it's gonna go through the process of giving me a phone number. So it's gonna give me a brand new phone number that I can use on my phone. And it'll basically walk through this step. The nice thing is you don't have to have a physical SIM card anymore. You can do it all electronically with this eSIM. Keep in mind, this goes through to Mint Mobile's carriers. They get you a new phone number or basically port over your current phone number to Mint Mobile. And by going through this process, essentially you'll be able to immediately send and receive texts and phone calls, all of that stuff. Keep in mind, this does take a little bit of time, so it just basically walks through the process, 
this is currently connecting to the carrier from the carrier coming back to my phone, assigning it a phone number, all that stuff. All right, so finally we are activated. I'm gonna hit continue. And now it just says install eSIM. And I'm gonna hit allow. And it'll pop up with these settings. So everything is pretty intuitive and built into the app. You don't really have to do much. You just kind of have to cl keep clicking, you know, continue, go forward, all that stuff, enter in your information. And it says your new eSIM from Ultra slash Mint Mobile is ready to activate. So after this, I'll show you that it is on my phone. I do have that eSIM. I'll show you the phone number as well as everything else so that you can see that I can start texting and receiving calls directly from this phone number. Now, by going through this process, keep in mind, if you do have two different numbers like I do, I have AT&T and Mint Mobile, then in that case, then you can switch between the two. So let's hit done here. And here you can see label for my AT&T one primary and the other one, let's just say sell data, or we can go in here and say, this is my business line or something. Now I'm gonna choose the default as my primary and go through this process. Everything is defaulted to my primary. And now you can see it shows you your Mint Mobile password. You can, or Mint Mobile phone number. You can always set up the password from here, but let's hop out of here and I'll open up these settings and tap on cellular. And now you can see under eSIMs are the two different lines. This one I click on, you can see network selection here is Mint Mobile. They just gave me that Mint Mobile phone number. Keep in mind, this is a brand new phone, phone number. If you did, again, port over or bring over your pre previous, your past phone number, it will just show us that phone number is now Mint Mobile. I hope this helps. If it did, hit the subscribe button down below. It really helps me out. And I'll catch you on the next one.